Hello everyone, hallo Leute und herzlich willkommen. I am Sir Nigel and today we're gonna play Pixel Night 2. My liege, the evil hordes are endless. You must find the source of this invasion. Step through one of their portals. It is our only chance. Okay. World 1-1. Keyboard controls. This is how we make friends. Friends. I guess these are gems. And I guess that's a bad guy. Wonderfully pixelated little pixely graphics here. Get into these boxes and a health potion, which we don't need. Well, we need it now. Isn't that magical? More jewels and gems. Sort of a charming little pixely art style. World 1-2. I also like how... Oh, oh, no, no, hey, no, no. Back over here. That's right. I also like how in this game you can shoot your knife. You can throw your knife thingy instead of having to jump on top of the enemies, because especially with small... Whoa, 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 whoa! Especially with small pixelated graphics like this, trying to... Oh, crap! Trying to get the accuracy to jump on top of the baddies would be more difficult. And this is just more fun! A mid-air takedown! And again. Shuriken. Oh, new weapon. Interesting. World 1-3. Who just leaves their gems scattered all over the place? Oh, and we gotta level up! So apparently you can level in this game. I think we better go back to the platform and jump to the crates, like so. Okay, bad idea. Jump, no. Jump! Bow and arrow. Let's give it a try. Oh, dual shot. I'm liking this. And then down here we go. Just in time for these crates. Very nice. Oh, look at that. It's like we're pro. New ground type. World 2-1. I like how the beginning of the next world started in the previous world. So you got sort of a little preview of what the landscape of the next world was to come. Now an axe. Kind of fun music. I'm not sure if this was really an improvement over the bow and arrow. Come here. So it's more powerful than the bow and arrow, but a lot less accurate. Yeah, I want the bow and arrow back, please. I don't want to do that, please. So apparently that's the game. Let's continue. Continue back at the world we left off on, along with the weapon we last had. Okay, this is much better. Yeah, this is much better. It seems like all of the weapons actually, at least so far, do the same amount of damage. But these sort of straight line weapons? Oh, it sticks around. Uh, ooh, the straight line weapons, instead of the ones that throw at a close curve, are much better. Uh, I didn't mean to pick that up. Oh, at least it's still a straight line. Oh, that's pretty nice. Hmm. 
Cuddly teddy bears are trying to jump over the spikes in your dreams. Jump and we did it! Da 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 da! Hi there, mister! The sproingy bouncy bit! And again. Will it keep bouncing us higher and higher? No. So up and over. Excellent. So this should be the next world. As you can see, the next world starts to show up right here. That's what it's going to look like. So that way, here we go. New world. A whole new world. Oh, like they can jump on the bouncy jumps too. Bouncy jumps for everyone. Feeling like I need to give you some bouncy jumps and that doesn't matter, I'm making a sound. The axe we really want to avoid. The way that arcs when you throw it is just not very effective. Whoa, crap. Slid right into it. That's what she said. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, rub-a-dub-dub -dub on that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already for more retro and modern games. And remember, if you tickle the Yeti, it might just tickle back. Ugh!